Hey guys, uh, Trevor here. Um, this video has been a long time coming. I know I kind of said I would do this back when I got it, but it's been a crazy year and we wanted to get the album out first and foremost. So this is my review of my Kiesel. I'm going to call it the Trevor Sobe signature guitar because it's custom ordered to my spec. For those of you that don't know, Beth and I earlier this year in January were at a guitar event in California where I got to meet some of my heroes and it was amazing. But one of the other super awesome things about it was we got to go to the Kiesel factory in California. I've always wanted to try one, I've always wanted to order one. To me, they are some of the most beautiful guitars out there, but I never ordered one because I, you can't try it. They don't sell these in store. You have to go there to try it. They are direct to consumer. And I just didn't want to drop a bunch of money on something I've never played before. I wanted to try it first. So we had to stay a few extra days, oh no, and uh, go try it. And I got to drive down there and spend a few hours playing a bunch of the models and and just fell in love immediately how amazing they played and, and how cool they looked in person. I put my order in and it arrived in May, so I've had it for a while. I did want to delay this review a bit because obviously when you first get a new instrument or first get anything, it's the honeymoon phase you love. Absolutely everything about it's perfect, it's the coolest thing ever. So now that I've had a few months with it, I wanted to just go through the ups and downs, mostly ups, it's, it's an amazing guitar, but just kind of talk about my experience as a whole with Kiesel ordering, as well as the guitar, and kind of show off what I ordered, and, and at the end I'll do a few sound demos for you. Alright, so first I'm going to dive into what exactly I ordered. So this is the Zeus model. Uh, it's a headless guitar, as you can see. What I got for the body is I got this amazing arctic purple finish, which is a flame maple top with what they call an antique ash on the back. If you look, it's kind of like a grayed out antique look. I love the antique ash wood grain as well as purple is obviously my favorite color as well as pretty much everybody in the band's favorite color so i had to make it purple it's really cool paint job they basically like tape it all off and then the owner of the company jeff kiesel actually was the guy who did this paint job for me they they tape it all off and then they sand the edges away to give it kind of that arctic ice kind of vibe i got um, the kiesel lithium pickups in zebra black and white with uh, black pole so I thought that would just accent the look a bit better. I got a custom kill switch put in there as an option for myself and then I got diamond inlays which are lumen lay which is basically a material that when gets hit with UV light it, they light up blue then, so they basically glow in the dark inlays which is really cool I'll show that off. The neck is roasted maple and then some other options I got are I got their polarity active system, which is really cool. It basically changes the sound of the pickup, so with the push-pull of my volume knob, I can get two different tones out of the same pickup, which is really cool. They also split the pickup, so I can choose between a humbucker or I can split them into single coil sounds for people who know that what, it, what that is. But it just makes this guitar super versatile as far as tones. The inside is chambered, so that means it's a bit lighter for me, uh, which is nice. I also kind of like the acoustic character that it gives the electric guitar it makes it a bit louder than a conventional electric guitar when there is some hollow parts to it. And then lastly I got just some strap locks put in uh, right away for me because I like to take my straps on and off fairly often so I can sit down without a strap and then I stand up with a strap on. It's just more comfortable for me. So that's basically the rundown of the build. So let's move into the pros. The first pro is obviously look at it. It's gorgeous. Like the purple is so cool. The flame maple is amazing. The inlays, the, the roasted maple neck, the antique ash, everything is beautiful. Super well put together. And it's also just the shape of this body. I love the overall look. I've always been a fan of Les Pauls, but I've never been a fan of them being 500,000 pounds. So I uh, have never bought one. I kind of like this, one because it's almost like a, a funky Les Paul shape because it's got that single cut versus the kind of traditional double horn look. And just shape wise, you can see there's tons of contours carved all throughout the body, all around the back. And that just makes it super comfortable to play. Like it just sits perfectly, my arm rests perfectly back here. And I have pretty easy access up to the top fret, so that's kind of why I went for this shape. As well as headless, obviously you get a ton of benefits with headless as far as the, the strings aren't as tense, as well as, you know, compact factor. This is so easy to travel with. I could take this on a plane, no problem, in carry-on. And you don't have to worry about your headstock getting ripped off if you're rocking out too hard and hit something. 
which is great. The neck is super comfortable. I got the thinner neck profile that they offer. I forget the scale. I think it's 25 and a half scale length neck. And it's just, I don't know, it's just perfect. Like the, the width of the neck is perfect, the thickness. And whatever oil they use on the neck, it's the smoothest neck I've ever played. It's so great. My hand just glides effortlessly back and forth. I love it. It's actually really hard to play other guitars that their necks just aren't quite this smooth. The guitar stays in tune super well, which is a great upside when you have a whammy bar. I find just the, the locking it up here and then this is just their Kiesel tremolo system. It stays in tune like so well. We tune a lot when we record. Every time we check tuning on this bad boy, it was the same even after me going to town on whammy bar stuff and whatnot. It's, it's awesome. It really holds this tune super well. As I said, another pro is the Kiesel Polarity Active Pickups. It's really cool that I can also split these pickups into single coils and have two different tone options. I think, you know, most people tend to call one modern and one classic. I'm not sure which one's which. I kind of stick to one that I like better, but it's nice to know that I have that other option if if I just need it for a song, a song kind of needs that kind of tone. I know this is super minor, but being a headless guitar, some of them can be a pain to restring, some of them are great. This is probably one of the easier ones I've had to restring. My Strandberg is pretty similar, but it doesn't have just the sheer cut at the end of the neck here, so it's got detached um, locks, which are a bit more of a hassle. This one is really easy, I really like that. Uh, another bonus is the Lumen Lays are amazing. They're so cool uh, when we're jamming and we have the lights off and stuff, it's it's amazing, it's so cool to see just the diamonds all over and I mean of course I had to get diamond inlays, not only do I think they look cool, but our band is based off of a gem, so I had to get some kind of inlay like that. So it fits the band and they glow. I mean, what else is there to say, that's so cool. I didn't think I'd ever have a guitar that had glow in the dark inlays, but now I do. Just the last thing is I've touched on the look and the feel and, and all that. I think it's just the overall quality, like it just, you know when you hold something and you can tell it's just really high quality, like it was really well built, it just has that feeling. Anyone I've given it to, they're just like, well, it just like feels high class, like high, like well made. That's definitely a pro. All right, the other thing I want to quickly touch on is the case that you uh, can order with your Kiesel. It's really high quality. I really like it. It's a soft case, but it's almost kind of hard case. Like it's got a lot of protection around it so I've never once been worried about the guitar being in here. You also have these front pockets which can fit a ton of stuff you know, all your string sets, whatever you need. They give you a bunch of extra accessories including a extra whammy bar in case you lose yours so I've got a backup. Uh, really cool stuff. So it just fits nice and snug in here. Here's my feathers. These are custom edition by myself, by the way, not not from Kiesel, <laughs> from, from Bethany made them for me because she's the best wife ever. And then, uh, yeah, so if you can see it just fits nice and snug, doesn't really move around and just closes nicely. Overall, the case is fantastic, I'm a big fan. All right, on to the not so fun negatives. There's only a few. The first one being I wish the guitar was not bolt on. I prefer neck through guitars. Unfortunately, with this shape, they didn't offer it in a neck through option. Uh, so it's kind of a bummer that I couldn't get the neck through on the shape that I wanted. I'd have to go for a different shape, but I didn't go for that because ultimately the body was not as comfortable as the Zeus body. So I chose the more comfortable body, taking a bit of a sacrifice on just ease of access to the high frets. It's not, a easy, it's not as easy on a bolt-on guitar as it is on a neck through. The other thing that was a bit of a downer is I've got this cool kill switch, but I really like what some people like a John 5 do with their kill switch where it's a button, it's a push button and Eddie Van Halen does the same stuff and they can do cool rhythms with just like tapping it in different rhythms and I wanted that but Kiesel doesn't offer that as a custom finish option. They only do this switch which is the latching switch so it's really hard to do like rhythms with it because it kind of locks every time. So I love that I have a kill switch but I wish it was a button I actually I've purchased one that I will be installing myself. One thing that I want to throw out there for you guys who are thinking of ordering a whammy bar headless guitar, tuning it can be a bit of a pain in the butt. I didn't think about that uh, when I ordered it. It's so much, this is so minor, but you know, when your hand's resting on it and if you push down on the tuner while you're tuning by accident, apply a little force, it can show that you're, you know, not in tune and then you 
tuning can take just a little bit longer than a standard guitar, but honestly, you get used to it. It's just, I just had to mention, I'm trying to be totally fair here. So a few things I wanted to bring up, and this is probably the biggest negative, are just, there's a few little issues with the finish of the guitar itself. On the back plate, it's just not cut very well. And again, I want to preface, these are all super minor. These are all very, very minor things. I love the guitar. But when you're paying as much as you pay them for a guitar, I think the quality should be a bit higher on certain things. The back plate is just, it's very jagged. It doesn't really look like it's cut very well. The other two issues are, in a satin guitar, the more you play, you tend to get these shiny spots from where your hand rests, and that's totally cool. It, it shows that you played it and you make those marks yourself. But the day I got it, there was this massive shiny spot over the logo, almost like someone like palm rubbed over the logo a ton, which was kind of weird. And then the last thing is just a few little specks. I'll try and get some close-ups of this. That I, I don't know what they are. I, I almost think it was like some residual glue that just got caught in the last coating of the finish or something. But there's just a few little bumps. They're super minor, but again, it's just, you know, when you're paying this much for a custom instrument, I, I feel like attention to detail should be like top notch. And then the other thing to do with that is their customer service. Um, they're great. Ordering with them was a breeze. I loved the whole process of it. The guy I worked with was amazing. Super fun to just go through all the specs. He's super responsive over email. But when I brought these issues to him, I got a quick response. So awesome. You know, he responded within five minutes when I sent photos of the, the logo marking and the glue and then the back plate. And then I didn't hear anything. He said he's gonna bring it up to quality control and see what they can do, see if there's anything they can do for me. And then about a week later, I followed up, hey man, like, any update? And I haven't heard anything at all. He didn't respond to that email, I haven't heard anything since. So I know that is one thing that seems to be the general consensus about Kiesel is their customer service could be a tad better. So I won't say it's terrible like some people, I had a really good overall experience, but I just wish they would maybe make uh, customer issues a bit more of a priority. Last thing would be just the pickups. I'm not overly fond of the Kiesel stock pickups, the lithiums. They just they sound kind of weak compared to I've got some DeMarzos in my Majesty and some Fishman Fluences in my Strandberg and I just love how both of those sound compared to these. This guitar still sounds great because of the quality of the wood and everything but the pickups they just don't have much life to them. They don't really have a ton of sustain. I've actually ordered a custom set of DeMarzios that copy the zebra look with the black poles so I can keep the overall look but I'm going to swap them out for some DeMarzios in the new year once they arrive. But other than that, that's that's all the negatives. For me this guitar overall is my favorite guitar I own, which I would hope so because I custom ordered it. It looks amazing, it plays amazing, it has a few minor little blemishes which honestly it's not even really worth bringing up but I just want to do my due diligence and bring up anything that I've ever had even an inkling in my head of like, ooh, I wish that was different. So I just made a note of it. Other than that, I play it more than any of the guitar. So now I'll just do a few sound demos for you guys. I'll show you some clean, some crunch, and some solo stuff. I'll try and kind of switch back and forth between the pickups and also, you know, maybe play the same riff with one tone and then pull out the polarity active and play the same riff with the other tone so you can kind of hopefully get a vibe for the two different options you have with the polarity active system. And just one note that all sounds for the sound demo will be done with a combination of my uh, Neural DSP plugins. Some might be the, I've got the Archetype Plenty, the Archetype Abasi, and right now I'm also demoing the Archetype uh, Noli. So I'll be kind of switching between those three for different sounds. They make the guitar sound amazing, but also if you like how they sound, go check those guys out too, because they do amazing work. Let's get to the demos. <laughs> Thank you. 
that was the review I hope you enjoyed it again this is my favorite guitar I own it's absolutely beautiful once I get the new pickups in it's gonna sound even better it does already sound good I just am very picky about the pickups I use and like most guitar players are the frets glow in the dark it's so cool besides the minor little blemish issues which again are so minor like you can't even see them unless you go like this I'm, I'm so unbelievably happy with this guitar and I would highly recommend getting one if you ever want to. Anyways, see you guys.